Here's what's making news around Indiana, brought to you by the Indiana Association of Realtors, Indiana's 21,000 realtors, the neighbors you know, the experts you can count on. Well, Memphis may have Graceland, home of the king of rock and roll, but Indiana has Grouseland, built more than a century and a half before the arrival of Elvis. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond has more from the White House of the West. William Henry Harrison is perhaps best remembered for the shortest presidency in U.S. history, just 31 days in office. But it was his time at this house on the banks of the Wabash in Vincennes, Indiana, that tells the real story of an American hero. Harrison came out here when he was appointed to be the governor of the territory. It was hostile wilderness. There weren't merchants here, there weren't shopkeepers here yet, there weren't tradespeople. So people had to be collected and trained on site to build this house. And what a house it is. More than 220 years later, the three-story, 13-room mansion is still standing. Uh, the walls are four bricks thick, the exterior walls and even the interior walls on the main floor. So everything in here has a story to it. This china here on the top of the buffet, and by the way, this buffet is original to the house and has still remained here as part of the collection. The dishes on top of it are Columbia Star Wedgwood China, and that was the campaign china of 1840. So that was during the Harrison campaign. Harrison won the election of 1840, and one of his staunch supporters that also helped on that presidential campaign, a young man by the name of Abraham Lincoln. The story goes, Grousen was the first mansion Lincoln ever saw in person. Now it's a National Historic Landmark and a treasure trove of Indiana history. One fascinating thing about the house is this is the insulation and that is the Indiana Prairie from the Indiana Territorial Time that was laid in there for insulation and it's still in there. So when you think about the Woodland Indians, the history of the territory before it was even ever the Indiana Territory, if that uh, mud and plant fiber could speak, we don't know what it would say about all the things that happened before this house was even built. So even prior history is integrated into this house. Oh, and by the way, did you know Indiana has an official firearm? We have the Indiana State Rifle here, the official rifle of the state of Indiana. And a lot of people don't know that we have a state gun, and it's right here. It lives here at Grouseland. Fiber and tipping. The exterior of Grouseland had a one and a half million dollar renovation. We have done exterior restoration to this house to get it back to the way that it was when Harrison lived here. And now a renovation of the interior, from hanging exact period wallpaper to exposing original wood floors. We're currently doing an interior restoration. We have had money from the state of Wisconsin, money from the state of Kentucky that have, has came to Indiana, a lot of private donors. Some people do realize uh, the uniqueness, the specialness of this house, and they want it to be here for years to come. We want the Harrison legacy to be told. I mean, this man, uh, we know what his critics say. He was a true patriot. It was all about God, family, and country. So we feel like there's a big legacy here in the original architecture, in the actual history that occurred here, and what the man represents himself, the essence of the man. And we just like to share that with people. And we'll vote for old Canoe. Mary Rachel Redmond, Inside Indiana Business. More history along the Wabash River.